What is wholesaling real estate? A complete beginner's guide. So if you're looking to get started in wholesaling real estate, this is going to be the complete beginner's guide. And we've taken a lot of time to really break down today as long as possible wholesaling real estate from start to finish and everything you need to know as a beginner. This is the complete crash course. This is going to be everything. Okay. Like a lot. And we're just going to hold your hand as a beginner in wholesaling real estate. And we are acting like you don't know one thing about wholesaling real estate. And we're going to help you get your first deal in the next 30 days. And That's so it's it. amazing. It's a great challenge. I'm super excited for everyone on here. And we're just going to help you guys have wholesaling real estate success. And I'm super excited for this, guys. And we're ready to go. So we're ready to go. And we're excited, guys. I always love helping you guys out in wholesaling real estate. I love teaching you guys how to get started in this business and have massive wholesaling real estate success. So if you guys are ready to go, excited to go out here in wholesaling real estate, who are we? Who's Rick and Zach in? Why are we doing this? And are we trying to help you guys out? What's going on? What's the truth? And so we're excited. We're ready to break it all down and share it. So first and foremost, who are you? Why are you here? And what are you looking to do? Talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, my name is Rick Ginn. I've been wholesaling uh, on my 21st year. And I remember it was like yesterday when I started out wholesaling. Um, I don't forget it. And I'm here to bring you along on the ride. Uh, fast forward to my my son was always around when I did wholesaling. But around uh, 16, he started asking some important questions. Um, Gave him some basic instructions. Fast forward. Here we are uh, seven years later. Uh, we're business partners. Um and I had an epiphany come off when I taught Zach. I simplified the strategy and just focused on people taking massive amount of action and just simplifying the business. So uh, I spent a lot of time in wholesaling. I've been around every guru, everybody in the business. And our main focus here is to not only get you to your first deal, get you to your first 100K and give you the most simplest process and re remove money as a barrier for you to get started. What's my goal? Why do I do this? I want to create a legacy. I want to teach more people wholesaling than anybody in the world. We are well on our way to doing that. And number two, I want you to get so prolific that you feel like you want to partner with me and Zach. It's not a requirement. We do it. And if you do a deal with me, we show you how we can extend the relationship. We'll go into more detail with that. That's pretty much my story. Yeah. It's my ultimate freedom wholesaling. I get financial freedom. I get freedom of my time and I get to hang out with my son. So that's my story. That's it. And so guys, my name is Zach Inn, And basically what you guys know about me is I'm a son. So I started wholesaling real estate uh, in high school and I was doing it myself. Made about 100K for a graduate high school, went to college, came back, partnered up with him. And now we run the largest wholesaling real estate operation where we're at in Florida, uh, in our market. And then also on top of that, uh, heck, we have about 5,000 combined wholesaling real estate deals together. And hopefully by the end of this year, we'll be the largest wholesaler by volume, uh, by deal amount, and hopefully revenue. And guys, we helped a lot of people out. Okay. We have over half a million followers throughout all the stuff we do. And we have the largest wholesaling course in the country, freehosting.com. Guys, I give results to people. There's not one person on the internet right now that has gotten people their first deal more than us. Mm -hmm. Not one person. And I can confidently say that because we have the most students. And so we help the most people out and we're here to help you do the same exact thing for wholesaling success. So without further ado, you guys know who we are. We're rich in wholesaling. We want to get you rich in wholesaling. So let's get to kind of break this all down. Let's do this from a 500 view, uh, 500 mile view away. Let's just go really, really out there and just learn what wholesaling real estate is, what it is. So first and foremost, for everybody watching this, for wholesaling real estate specifically, why are we looking get, to get into it? What's the goal? The goal in wholesaling real estate for you to watch this challenge is to get your first deal in under 30 days. What's so important about a deal or whatever? A deal is just going to be a check in your hand. And I think everyone can use an extra twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 this month. And mm -hmm. you do one deal, it'll change your, you're just one deal away from changing your entire life. This could be a $50,000 to make this month. And it's like, oh yeah, yeah, you're like, yeah, I'll guarantee, I can't, I'm not going to guarantee it. And so before we get this challenge going, I'm taking my sweet time today on this because I'm assuming you know nothing. The first thing you got to understand about wholesaling is it is not a get rich quick scheme. It's a get rich, slow, but potentially fast scheme. I don't know how to say it the right way, but guys, I made 20 grand my first month wholesaling real estate. And a lot of people make 30 grand their first month wholesaling. A lot of people don't get their first deal in wholesaling real estate too. But the thing about wholesaling real estate is if you work hard, the harder you work, the luckier you get. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I love wholesaling is it costs zero money to get started. I, anyone can argue with me all day. It costs no money to get started. And there's no guarantee for wealth. I've never guaranteed anyone to become successful. But if you work hard enough, you find the right wholesaling deal and you find a good buyer for it, you'll do well. And so I'm not guaranteeing you to get your first deal, but this challenge will give you the best chance possible to get your first deal. And 
Heck, go to freelancing.com. We'll break down all that stuff, but you'll see how many people we help out. So let's get it going. I'm always excited, guys. I get a little am animated because I it just it's this business has changed my life. I'm here to change your life. So uh, without further ado, let's break it all down. Welcome to the 30 Whole Selling Challenge Day One. And so let's break this all down. So first and foremost, what is wholesaling real estate? First and foremost, wholesaling real estate. This is the process of us writing up a contract to buy a piece of real estate and then selling that contract to a rich landlord or house flipper, AKA a cash buyer for a profit. I don't know if there's any easier way to explain that, but all we're basically doing is writing up contracts to buy a piece of real estate. Then we're selling that contract to a cash buyer, basically pretty much a landlord or a house flipper for a profit, Simon fee, finder's fee, whatever way you want to call it. That's what it is, right? No, yeah, I mean, simple. I, I, I've watched people go in like hour long uh, pitches on this guys. What you see on your screen is ex that's what we do in wholesaling. It doesn't need to be expanded anymore. And the problem is when you make it a 30 page monologue, you feel it's complex, you make it complex and you actually wind up not doing deals. So me and Zach really try to simplify this business because it's just, it's so, I don't know. I, I just think people make it too complicated. I made it too complicated when I do it. I go, it can't be this simple. And I try to re-engineer it. So keep it as simple as possible. If we can explain it in basically a sense or two, you shouldn't be spending like eight hours trying to figure out how to get started. No, I agree. I, I think so many people really complicate it. And really, if you can just find people that have ugly houses and find dealers, you'll do very well. So let's kind of break this all down. Let's get into it and let's just break this down. So here is what we call the wholesaling real estate process. The wholesaling real estate process is basically a 30 day process from start to finish. And this is our, I guess our system, I don't know which way you want to call it, but like, this is what it is. Okay. There's marketing, there's locking up the deal, there's finding the buyer, doing the walkthrough and then closing. That's what I, I mean. I, I'm not really going to complicate this anymore than it really needs to be, but this is it. So day one through seven, the real estate wholesaling and the 30 wholesaling challenge is pretty much mirrored like this. Okay. So day one through seven is marketing. When it comes to marketing, all we do is find distressed properties and see if people are looking to sell their house. The reason why distressed properties work so well is because people are looking to just get rid of it and they're willing to sell the house for a discount just to get rid of their ugly house because it's nasty. It's disgusting. It's like trading in a car. Seven through 14, we're going to lock up the deal. We're basically going to write up an agreement to buy the house. And you're probably all stressed out, right? Like, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, contracts and and agreements and all this is too much, right? No, no, no. We're, we have a whole day set up for it. We've got all this stuff, okay? You're going to sign the agreement. You're going to take pictures of the property. What if I don't want the money to buy the house? What if I, I don't, they want money for, I, I just, don't worry. We got you, all right? Days 14 through 18, we're going to find that end buyer, that rich landlord or house slipper to buy our agreement for us for an assignment fee, finder's fee, whatever you want to call it. Then we're basically 19 through 24. We're going to do a walkthrough. The cash buyer is going to go buy the house, look at it, something they want. We're going to sign something we call the assignment of contract. The assignment of contracts is selling that piece of paper for that finder's fee. We'll explain it all. Don't worry. But we're just, I know we're getting a little complicated here, but it's okay. And the last one, just uh, day 30 is closing day. All you got to know about closing day pretty much. That was when I get our check. We get our cash in our hand and make that money. That's what it all, that's what it's all about. Now, the million dollar question here is wholesaling real estate legal. Uh Oh, right. This is, this is the question you guys have, right? We, we have a lot of gurus out here. We got a lot of realtors out here. We got a lot of uh, people that don't know much in real estate, uh, that say wholesaling is illegal or it's bad or all that. Let me tell you the truth. I only care about one real estate type of professional to tell me if real estate's legal or not. Not my mama, not my aunt's best friend who's a realtor that hasn't listed a house in four years. Not, not, not anyone, right? Only person I ever take advice from for stuff like this is a lawyer, a real estate lawyer. That is it. And to this day, a real estate lawyer has never told me that wholesaling real estate's illegal. I've had realtors tell me it's illegal, but they're not a lawyer. But I've always had lawyers tell me it's legal. And this is not law advice, but wholesaling real estate. This might be a shocking statement for everyone. This is going to be a statement that's going to really bring some gurus on their knees today. But wholesaling real estate, to, as of this video, is legal in all 50 states. Now, I'm not saying you can do whatever you want, right? But I'm saying there's some things you have to know in each state. But in all 50 states, there's wholesaling real estate transactions being done on a daily basis. Now, this is a shocking statement to say, but it is true. There are some states that you got to certain, do certain things. But as of this video, wholesaling real estate is legal in all 50 states. State. So whenever you have a broke guru tell you that wholesaling is illegal, it's not illegal. It's illegal if you do certain things that are terrible. But here's the cool part. We're going to teach you guys about title companies and all these things. So like chill out. It's okay. But we are doing all this through 
And I want everyone to just be rest assured because maybe your mom's going to come to you. You're watching this video and she's going to catch you in the act of watching this video and say, wholesaling's illegal, right? They're going to say this. Here's the thing. I'm going to get thrown in jail for wholesaling. You are not. Okay. Trust me. All right. But here's the thing. You have to do wholesaling real estate with lawyers. Now you might be like, I can't afford a lawyer. The lawyer's free. Here's the cool part. The lawyer's free and they're getting paid from the cash buyer. So like, don't worry. We're doing this all through title companies or closing attorneys and they all have lawyers on file that is going to make sure you are going to do it the legal and right way. Now, if you do something illegal the wrong way, your lawyer and the title company is going to say, you can't do it like that. So you're pretty, you're very, very well protected. Okay. And the key here is you have to do everything we say by the book. When I say you have to go use the title company to ask these questions, you say, Okay, I'll use the title company, but I'm not going to ask the questions Rick and Zach said. That's when you get in trouble. You got to do what we say. Guys, this is a free challenge. This is everything we possibly can give our heart and souls to you guys. You have to follow what we say step by step, right? Yeah. I, I mean, just so you know, I, I'm in my 21st year. I was told from day one, wholesaling is illegal. So, you know, history doesn't always repeat itself, but it rhymes. And I've always looked at the source of people who told me it's illegal and they either wanted money out of me or they wanted me to change my a course of action. And I'm just here. You're going to hear it endless. The bottom line is your responsibility to research the laws in your state to make sure you're compliant, work with your title company and a bona fide real estate lawyer. A lot of you think, oh, it's crazy cost. It's like part of the package. If you do this above board with a title company, uh, if you're in a state that you have to close with an attorney, everything's above board. And yeah. so many people think like this business is like it's scammy and stuff like, you know, people think it's scammy because they can't get out of their own head. Like, how can you make that much money in doing that? Dude, it's real work. It's hard work. And the average nine to five employee could not stomach what a wholesaler does. That's just the truth. AKA, that's why nine times 10, it's called a scam. But I'm here to tell you, you have to use title companies. You go through lawyers, you go through title insurance. The same as if you were to bought your own personal home. The only difference is we're selling the contract, yeah. guys. Anybody tells you it's a scam or it's illegal, look at the source where it's coming from. It's either out of fear or they want you to change your habit. You need to have enough conviction to go, no, this is what I want to do. This is why I'm going to do it. I've listened to Zach and Rick. He's been doing it 21 years. I'm pretty confident it's not a scam and it's perfectly legal. Yeah. So That's guys, it. I'm telling you, do not be going out here and listening to these people saying it's, it's legal. Okay. So let, let's break this all down. So is wholesaling real estate legal? It's legal in all 50 states. There's only one state as of this video that limits wholesaling to it a certain extent. And that's the state of Illinois. Now there's other states that have certain ways and we're going to teach you guys all about it. Mm -hmm. But really the only thing that you have to drastically know is Illinois. Illinois, basically you can only have one real, you have to have a real estate license to do more than one deal. Now I, there's, it's a little different than that. I would tell you if you're doing Illinois, probably going to do some virtual wholesaling, but I'll just tell you how to do it. Don't worry about it. And this, I'm, I'm giving you guys a very macro like view. Okay. Like I'm not getting the nitty gritty of it right now. Cause at frillsing.com we do, but I, I'm, I, I'm just saying like, don't worry. Okay. Now let's talk about this too. Wholesaling real estate versus real estate investing in other things. Okay. I think this is a big thing. I think people need to understand, but I, I truly believe a lot of wholesalers think that we're real estate investors here or like we're rental guys or a lot of wholesalers pretend like they're realtors too. Some are. And like, you're not going to be a realtor here. Okay. Wholesaling real estate is not invest. I want you guys to understand this. Flat Investing out. in real estate is I put money in looking for an intern, a return. Now you can get theoretical on here. I put a thousand in the marketing. I want something back, but this is a business. This is not investing. Okay. You are selling a contract. You are not owning the piece of real estate on this. I, let, let's say this one more time in real estate. We flip paper. Paper, okay? Paper, Michael Scott Paper Company. We're, we're flipping the paper, okay? <laughs> we do not own the house. We do not pretend like we're listing somebody's property for sale. That is brokering. We do not do that, okay? I want everyone, let me say this one more time. We are selling that we write a contract to buy a house. Are we selling the house? No, no, we're selling the contract. We're selling our, our interest to buy the house, the contract to buy the house. That piece of paper you can sell for $20,000. Crazy. It's true. Companies do it all the time. Billion dollar public corporations, wholesale houses and property all the time. So I just want everybody to really understand this. Okay. In wholesaling real estate, this is an income producing strategy. It is a business business. And this is a business where I make millions and millions and millions of dollars. And you can do the same exact thing, but I want you to understand that this is going to be income producing. We're not investing in real estate here. We're not doing any of this stuff. This is just something where you can have a business and produce a lot of results, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I agree, right? I mean, no money at all, no experience needed at all in wholesaling real estate. That is the point.
Yeah. I mean, it's guys, it, the whole commonality of doing our 30 day challenge is number one, to inspire you, motivate you, letting you know you're not doing it on alone and to simplify the process. If you have not understand anything, there's more information on the internet than there has ever been before. So you got to pick your reliable source. And I prefer you pick someone that actually wholesales today, not just real estate investing, not just fix and flip, not do the bird method, not doing everything else, but actually has a fundamental operating wholesale business because it's all relative. Now, the good news is for the most part, wholesaling stays the same. How people get information is what has wildly changed. And we share that all with you at freewholesaling.com. Exactly. And we'll break that all down, but let's go back to the wholesaling real estate process. Like I said before, let's just, we're going to reiterate things. Okay. Remember, no, 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 this is not the, this challenge is not just this video. Okay. This is, a, this is video one of 30 videos. So June 1st, 2nd, 3rd, th all the way to June 30th, there was a video every single day. So don't feel like this is a video. We got to learn everything all on what? Uh. No. Okay. So let's do the process one more time. Let's recap everything. Okay. Marketing. We're going to find that distressed property. And now guys, we have like five or we have like, I think seven videos on marketing in this challenge. Like, so just like, don't feel like we're going to only do that right now. Okay. We're going to then lock up the deal. We're going to find the person that wants to sell their house. We're going to lock up the deal, write up an agreement. We're going to find someone who wants to buy that agreement for us. Then we're going to sell that piece of paper. We're just doing, an, there's a purchase and sale agreement, then assignment of contract. And then we're going to close and get our money. I, I, I know I'm running through this fast, but I don't have 17 hours for this today, but I'm telling you, this is what it is. Okay. So let's talk about the 30 day wholesaling challenge today. Okay. Our goal today, this is what we are personally doing. Okay. We will teach you the entire wholesaling real estate process on the flip with Rick YouTube channel. So it's only going to be on the YouTube channel and it will be in freehealthing.com and like it will be on there, right? It'll be edited nice and everything like that. But I'm just letting you know, we will teach you in this challenge, the entire wholesaling process for the next 30 days, all the way up to June 30th. Okay. We're going to, we're going to do the next 30 days and teach you the whole entire 30 day wholesaling process. Uh, so the process for 30 stinking days. Now I want you guys to understand this. This is super, super important. And I cannot stress this enough. The next 30 days, you do not need to master everything you need. You just need to take action. Okay. Well, I'm not telling you have to master the entire whole thing process. The point of this is you're going to learn and then work with the action. Okay, let me emphasize this one more time. The people that get their first day after 30 days. Now we we've helped so many people last year do this challenge and it's just even getting crazier now. Mm -hmm. but there's some people that are going to watch all the videos and say, I'll start wholesaling after, after the challenge is over. Right yeah. guys, this, I, I got to get you going. Okay. Guys, you are not doing this just for yourself. I hope you know that, that you're not doing this for me. You're doing this for your financial future, your kids, financial future, your families, your mom, your dad's, your whoever, but you have a divine right to yourself to become prosperous and make as much stupid stinking money as possible to lift you and your family and your friends out of whatever financial situation you're at right now. You are not doing this solely for yourself to make a quick 10 grand to go blow in the club and then just come back and work a regular job. We are stopping the process. We're stopping the chains of working a nine to five job, the nine to five matrix. We're here, we're here to change your life. So the point of this is you're going to learn what we do and then take action. Okay. I teach you cold calling. You start cold calling. I tell you to pull this. You start pulling lists. I will be giving you guys homework at the end of these videos. I'll be telling you what to do and the action you have to take, but I'm telling you right now, you are going to have to take action. I know it's going to be scary. I know you're going to feel a little nervous to do this, but here's the cool part. You do not grow unless you are uncomfortable. Every single time you're uncomfortable, there's usually growth inside of that. Let me tell you a quick story. Then we're going to get back into this, guys. You are going to have to be lobsters out here. Everyone's like, why, why is Zach talking about lobsters? Not all people how lobsters work, but this is how a lobster works. Lobsters are, they're tiny and then they get bigger, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that. But the shell doesn't grow with them. Shells are hard as a rock, right? Mm -hmm. So how lobsters grow is they're, they're little lobsters and then they grow and they get really uncomfortable. And once they feel uncomfortable, they go underneath a rock, they molt their shell, and then they, the new shell grows to fit where they're at now. And then they go out, they live their little lobster life. Now they're a little bigger. Now they're uncomfortable. They go under the rock to protect themselves, get a bigger shell. Moral of the story here is every single time you're uncomfortable, it doesn't feel good. You're about to grow even more. Now this is not for everything in life, right? There's terrible tragedies, but I'm talking about like with this type of uncomfortability. I'm thinking you, lobster bisque. <laughs> you're learning how to talk to a person better. You're looking how to close deals, find sellers, go out here to the government list and pulling them like, you guys are going to get uncomfortable, but remember that uncomfortable feeling is you growing into a new shell and you don't have to hide under a rock. You're literally just grow it the next day and you just get better. And by the time you're done with this mm. challenge, you're going to be like, like a, 
little lobster this big. At the end of the challenge, you're going to be like this. Mm. And it's going to be very uncomfortable if you take action. But you're going to be a massive ripped lobster like Larry Larry the Lobster from SpongeBob. Because I'm going I'm to eat that lobster. Hey, no. Ain't going to catch him. But so, here's what I'm going to add to this, though. So we did the challenge last year. It talked to hundreds of you. And it was incredible. Thousands. Yeah. And when me and Zach sat down to do this challenge again, we we just we just did it from scratch. We learned a lot by by helping and working with you guys and talking to you. But Zach used the word uncomfortable. I'm here to tell you the reality is most of you you just you think uncomfortable is when your AC goes from 74 to 77. That's not uncomfortable. That's just annoying. Okay. I'm gonna add this word. The the theme for our 30 day challenge is you got to get wildly uncomfortable. And I'm not talking about physically. You're not in physical danger or anything like that. You are in danger if you stay in your little matrix and you sit right there and you let everybody tell you what to do and you let your, your life just go by you. So the only way you're going to be able to, ch to change and pop that shell off, you got to get more than uncomfortable. Uncomfortable is just modern inconveniences wildly uncomfortable is doing something that just it pains you inside but you know you need to do it i you need to step up Comf uncomfortable is not enough anymore you've got to go wildly uncomfortable i learned this la in last year's challenge and i'm here to push you you have to start thinking what's going to make me wildly uncomfortable to push me in wholesaling and i'm telling you that is the difference from the people that catapult and the people that just kind of like i'm going to make 10 calls today this guy just ripped out 300. He got wildly uncomfortable and just ripped through it. That's what I see the difference in talking to hundreds of you. And that's why I want you to do. But now, now you got me lobster bisque. I'm thinking some no, butter. Here's the thing. It, you wouldn't be a little tiny lobster your entire life. You can do it. You might get uncomfortable. Hey, you know what? I don't want to go get anything crazier. I'm just going to stay in my little shell. Why? The people that decide to get uncomfortable and decide to grow and get even more uncomfortable, they become bigger. Let me tell you one big truth in life. And this is not something I think I was going to talk about today, but this is the absolute truth you need to hear. <laughs> So I don't care if half you guys decide to leave this challenge today by me saying this, but you have to understand this. You have two choices right now in your life. You have, you, you basically have two uncomfortable choices. There's two pills you're going to take. You got the red pill, blue pill, right? I've been watching the matrix a lot. You have the one thing where you're going to get uncomfortable emotionally, where you're going to have to start calling sellers. It's, oh, that's scary. I have to go in front of somebody and start doing this. I've start cold calling. I have to start text blasting. I have to start getting contracts and start talking to title companies and all this. Oh, that sucks. You know what? Yeah. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. That's fine. You have to take that. Stay where you're at right now. Uncomfortable, but you feel like you're, but here's the thing. The other pill, the, the one pill is uncomfortable. It feels terrible. But after a month or two, when you make 50 grand, you're not going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to feel pretty good about yourself. Your self-esteem is going to go up. You're going to have a lot of cash in the bank. You're going to start, you can go back to your family and say, Hey, you know, I did this thing and it worked out and heck if it doesn't work out, Hey, I tried something and I tried to change my life for the better. And it costs no money. Come on. A lot of people watch Netflix all day. Use that Netflix time to go wholesale houses. You're fine. Right. Or you can do the pill that's sweet and sugary. It tastes, it's like, it's amazing. It feels great. But after one to two months, after you work another nine to five, keep going. Your boss is screaming at you now because their, their boss wants to, we got to go our raise our numbers 3.24%, right? You're pushing it and you're pushing it. And guess what happened? You work that dead end job. You never get a raise or you get like a, a 1% raise every single year and just stacks and stacks and stacks. And you're never able to go to see your kids games. You're never able to spend time with this. You, you are stuck in that cubicle. I blew my gas. And it took me 12 years of frustration before I said no more. At, and guys, the honest truth is you got a couple pass here. You can be frustrated and ticked off at your current situation or job. It's painful. I don't care what you say. It's a different, or you can be scared and wildly uncomfortable and do things that will change your life. Both of them is an action. Neither one will kill you. They'll drive you. They both drive you equally crazy. So pick one that's actually going to benefit. You're never going to convince your boss to give you a raise. And when they do, do you think like 3% is going to change your life? Frick, uh, like inflation's like 10 to 12 when you get down to it. Here's the truth. The more uncomfortable, the more scared, and the more I got fearful, and then I took action in spite, it changed my life financially. Exactly. And the old self of me, the minute I got scared or anything like that, I just went back into a shell I kept that old same shell on me and I never grew. I didn't figure it out till I was 33. He figured it out much earlier and we're here to tell you the same thing. Wholesaling is just a vehicle to get you where you need to go. I think it's the best one. I'm somewhat biased, but I'm telling you, the more fearful you get, the more scared, it means you're in the right direction. The question is, will you take the action to move forward? The more scared I got every time I took action, phenomenal results. So, and it still holds true to this day. So you got the two pills, okay? So that uncomfortable pill, bills start stacking up. You're going to find this. Your bills are going to go higher up than what your raises are. Okay. No one's going to treat you the right way. And guess what? The pill felt really good going down, 
but now you're feeling a lot more uncomfortable. And heck, you got a kid or two. You can't spend much time. You wake up in the morning, you work your nine to five, you go grocery shopping with the wife or kids, and then you hang out with the kids, you eat dinner. And you got an hour to watch TV and then back out at the same day and you live for two days a week. That's what you do. That's your life. Two days a week is your life. You were literally in jail five days a week and you get out for two days. What do you guys do? A, this is a terrible thing, but like who wants to live life like that? You're, you're in jail for five years. You get two years free, then back to jail for five years, two years free. That's a terrible but way to live. But you get two weeks off. But hey, hey, you, you, know, you, get, you get 14 days a year out of jail when you're in that. I don't like that. And then they call you the entire time while you're on vacation trying to enjoy your family. Guys, listen, getting a 3 to 5% raise, think about that for a second. I used to just kill for that. And when I went to wholesaling, I almost doubled my income every year. Yeah. So I'm sitting around for pennies. And then my favorite one is I, I get benefits. Now, listen, I get it. If somebody has an ailment in your family, I'm not telling you to walk away from it. And there are advantages to it. But the reality is... The average benefits is about ten to twelve thousand dollars per year per employee. That's it. If you let that be the crack that keeps you at work, when you can go out and make millions just doing whatever you want, please, guys, look and evaluate. You are hooked to that paycheck. I did it. I'm not a hypocrite. I just got so frustrated. I made that change. My argument here is you can be frustrated or you can be scared. Both of them are take action. The I, the the reality if you take action when you're scared. You can have a positive result. When you take action and get frustrated, you usually wind up getting fired or get stuck even in a worse job um, relationship. Yeah, That frustration sucks. I've been there. When I went to the other side, I was wildly scared, wildly uncomfortable, but I trusted in taking the action. And I literally doubled my income for the next five years every year. And I've yeah. never not grown my income in this business since I started back in 2003. So I'm just letting you know, so you have your two pills right now. Which one are you going to take? They're both going to be uncomfortable, but one is going to be uncomfortable for probably six months to a year. And then it's, it's amazing. Or you're going to take one that feels good right now, but in three months, it's going to be uncomfortable for the rest of your rest of your life. It's like, which one do you want to take? Would you take something that it's going to be really painful for the next year? And then there's no more pain ever. It's kind of like having like a hip surgery or whatever. Would you rather just kind of Get a little uh, steroid shot on the hip and then the hip hurts for the rest of your life. It's like, I'd rather, I'd rather just do the little painful thing now and it's over with. And so the truth here, guys, is what pill are you going to take? Now, you're watching this video. You're actively making a change. You have chosen the uncomfortable pill. And so I want you guys to understand what I'm telling you right now. It's going to be uncomfortable. But guess what? If you keep it up and stick to it consistently, you'll do well. Everyone who works out knows this. It sucks to work out. But usually after six or whatever months, you feel growth. You feel good about yourself. It's like, I love doing this. This is not bad. And for the people who are like, wait, is Zach telling me to either quit my job and I got two kids and a wife and a, or a husband or, you know, just work around. No, no, no. Okay. I'm not that guy. There, there's guys that say, quit your job, be a man. Rah, right? No, I want you guys to understand for most people who have a job right now, work your job and then do this as a side hustle, 10 hours a week That's what I did. during the weekend. And I'm I know that sucks, but you can, you don't have to quit your job. Okay. I didn't quit my job. And it's an embarrassing job. I was a bag boy for three and a half years, wholesaled on the side. Guess what happened after that though? Made 20 grand. That was my yearly whatever I did just in one month. Boom, never stopped. You did a six figure nine to five corporate job, it was wholesale hell. on the side with two kids and a wife. And a mortgage. And so- And a dog. Yeah, I want you guys to understand this. You don't have to quit your job. Now, but we're going to tell you guys, you're going to have to get uncomfortable. When you do that, you will get rich. And so let's get back. I'm just telling you, you got to be uncomfortable. That's it. So Wildly. this is- the 30 day wholesaling challenge. You don't have to master everything, but you got to take action. Our goal here is to get your first deal in 30 days and change your financial life. Guys, we've helped so many people out here. And I know I'm going to help even more. So let's break it all down. And remember guys, um, the challenge will be at freelancing.com too. So the replays and everything's at freelancing.com. And I'm going to make a playlist uh, starting today at the bottom of the description of the YouTube channel, the Flipler YouTube channel where you can go follow the playlist of 30 day wholesaling challenge. So you never miss a thing on it. So wholesaling real estate. It is just three parts. That is it. There is marketing, finding people who want to sell the property, acquisitions, acquiring a contract, writing up a contract, and then dispositions, selling the contract. So let me repeat this one more time, okay? There is finding people that want to sell their house, writing up a contract, and then selling that contract. Everyone, every YouTube video you see on, on wholesaling is like, then you got to do this process and then a transgressional analysis. And blah, 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 blah. Okay, blah. okay, it's stupid. Three things. That's all wholesaling real estate is. And I dumb it down because I'm not here to go try to sell you on something stupid, okay? This is what it is, okay? I don't care if you give me one diamond wholesaling. I, maybe I want a JV deal. But like, I don't care. I just want you to learn wholesaling 
And the way that I learned wholesaling is by just making it simple. Yeah. You know, I, I, when someone tells me, I'm like, just say it at like a, like you're talking to a fifth grader. Okay. And it makes it so much easier for me to understand. This is what wholesaling real estate is. So let's talk about marketing for a second. Okay. Marketing. This is how we find sellers who want to sell their house for a discount due to a motivating circumstance. What is a motivating circumstance? A lot of things, right? They could have a divorce. There could be ugly, the house can be ugly, right? Tall grass, it can be a vacant, right? Things like that. What you really need to understand is how do I get in front of these people? We can call these people, we can text them, we can email them, we can send them mail. But the biggest concept me as a beginner, I it is for me, I don't know if it was for you, um, but it was the biggest mishap in my mind. I'm like, why in the world would somebody be willing to sell their house that's worth a hundred grand for $85,000, $80,000. This makes no sense at all. I never understood it. But until I got my first, second, then third deal, I'm like, oh, this makes sense. People are willing to trade their equity for the easiness of a cash sale. And then you start thinking about this in a wider scope. Let me give you one example. This is an example that seems crazy to me. Okay. I didn't understand this. When I went to see all my buddies up in Gainesville, um, we were, uh, I think we're out to an NFL game. We had our fantasy football draft. And I know it's cringy to sound, but okay. So I was like, all right, let me go to Publix, get a pub sub. It's the best thing ever. I love Publix subs. They chicken tenders, chicken tender sub, my favorite. Okay. I'm getting hungry thinking about this. I usually just go to Publix and get it, right? Because I love it. There's a way I like it. You know, my other friends are like, I'm just going to do Uber Eats. I'm like, why are you doing Uber Eats? They spend like 15 bucks to get wings at like Buffalo Wild Wings. And they have to spend like 15 bucks on a delivery fee. I'm like, you're spending $30 on something that costs 15 bucks to pick up in 15 minutes. Like, yeah, I just don't want to get out of the house. I'm like, so you're willing to double, like you're willing to give up more money just so you don't have to get out of your couch. Yeah. Like I got to see you. I got to see where D Hopkins gets in the draft. Yeah. So like, that's how it is. So people are willing, you guys know this first and foremost to spend extra money, to give up things for the easiness of things. People will trade in their car. They don't want to put a VIN on their car, go meet someone in the back alley at a star at a Starbucks at 8 PM test drive the car meet somebody do this. Like I, I just trade in the car. I don't want to deal with that stupid stuff. Right. It was Kelly blue book value. They, they don't do that. People go literally go pawn shop, sell something. They just don't want to deal with it. Right. Yeah. I, I so don't get the whole are. Uber each things, dude. But, but for the speed and convenience for things, they're willing to do it. And so that's the same thing in wholesaling real estate. If I have an ugly house, I don't want to fix it up, put it on the market, have a million people go through my ugly house. It's kind of embarrassing. I want you guys to understand this. Your friends might know who you, where you live, right? Mm -hmm. And if they see your disgusting trash hoarder's house, which it might be your situation, that's Sally's house. It's embarrassing. A lot of people just sell it cash. I don't want to deal with this thing. I just want to get my money out of here and not deal with it. People are willing to sell it for a big discount if you just offer easiness of cash, right? Mm -hmm. After thousands and thousands of deals, it took, it took me a while to understand this, but people are willing to do it. But they are only usually willing to do it for a motivating circumstance, okay? There has to be a reason why they're looking to do it. Most people aren't willing to do speeding convenience just because it's cash, right? Maybe, hey, I'm in a foreclosure situation. I got to sell this house in 30 to 60 days or my name is going to be public on an auction. I don't want to deal with that or a bad credit history. <laughs> I'm a landlord and I had to evict this guy and he trashed me. I, I'm so sick of this. Just let me get rid of it for cash. You know, hard times. I lost my job. I can't keep, keep up this pro Like just one motivating circumstance or whatever, it'll be there. I want you to understand too, that if you go to 30 day wholesaling challenge, you go to fearlessing.com. I have so many deals that I do and I show you what the motivations on each. I do live calls, all the, you'll figure everything out at fearlessing.com. But I'm just letting everybody know right now, there has to be a motivating circumstance for someone to want to sell their property. And we can, to reach out to these people, we can call them, text them, email, send them mail. There's a lot of ways to do it, but that is marketing. Now, acquisitions, right? Mm -hmm. Acquisitions is basically, this is how we acquire a contract to sign to buy the houses so we can sell them for a profit. That is it. We're writing up contracts to buy houses. You are not going to be a salesperson. And I think you can tell this more than anyone. Do not act like a, you are just acting like a person. You and your partner are looking to buy a house. Yeah, that is it. Your real work is put into the marketing. That's what wholesaling is all about. And you are systematically targeting people on lists, which will we teach you all in free wholesale. I'm not going into all the details. Actually, free list of people that have problematic properties. Remember, real estate is just a symptom of human problems. And so we find the right list and then we send out a message to them. You cold call them, you text them, you mail them, whatever you do. And then basically we teach you how to qualify. Yeah. So, so many people get like, oh, I can never do wholesaling because I have to be the, like the super slick salesman. I'm here to tell you, I, I know how to sell, but I'm telling you, the harder I tried to sell in wholesaling, the worst I did. When I just 
help people and guide them along. That's all I do. You're not a salesman. And actually the more sales you get, the worse you're going to do in this business. Yeah. Now, it doesn't mean you have to be persistent and you have to educate, but basically you are a guide. You're walking them through and nine times out of 10, we help sellers that actually we need to help them get out of their own way. So the reality is most people selling their house is the biggest decision in their life and it's overwhelming to them and they're scared. They're, the people we deal with, they have motivating situations. Sometimes some of them just hate realtors. Yes, they do exist. Some people's houses are trashed. Some people bought an investment property off of a uh, flip this house TV show and it wound up being a nightmare. Some people have a renter that trashed the house Guys, I've been a motivated seller. I've given a house away just because I got so frustrated at it. So if I am if I can be, anybody can be, and I'm telling you, there's no shortage of them out there. Here's the key thing you got to understand. A lot of you go, I have to be the super slick salesman. Don't. I'm telling you, you just got to learn how to market. You got to have conversations with people. If you can have a conversation like me and Zach are and just teach how to qualify them, and then you're just a guide. And I, I going to teach you the art of detachment. I'm not depending if you say yes or no to my contract because the world feels your energy. And if you are desperate to have somebody sell you their house, you're going to get a really bad deal. And people sense it. Now, how you do it? We teach it all at freeholesling.com. I'm just here to tell you guys, it's not a sales job. I've, I can't, everyone's like, oh, I'm not a really good salesman. Great. You're in the perfect business. This is not like used car sales or anything like that. When people sell their house, it's because they need to. Yeah. It's not because they want to. So all you have to do is, is just guide them, qualify them, and help them. And me and Zach always focus on a win-win situation. So if you're thinking, oh, I can't do wholesaling. It's, I don't have the sales skills. Crap. I love when people do, I'm going to do sales training for wholesaling. No, you're not. There's no sales training. Teach them a system and guide the people through it. Because sales training is meant for realtors, people that want to sell their house. We only focus on people that need to sell their house. That is the fundamental difference. Do not buy into the sales hype of wholesaling. It's false. I've been doing this 21 years. The less you sell, the better you do. Exactly. And let me give you one tip on how to be the best acquisitions person. This is going to be shocking. People sell a $5,000 acquisitions program. And let me tell you what it is in, I think, three minutes. Okay. This is it. You're on the timer. 80% of people out here have bought in a car before, right? 80% of people watching this have bought in a car, understand how to buy a car, right? So let's say you are going to buy my car. Now I have a Ford truck. That's the car I have. It's pretty simple. A lot of flips. I use the truck boating, love outdoor stuff, right? That I got a truck. Okay. I ain't got no crazy, stupid, crazy car, right? I, I have a truck. If I'm going to sell my truck to somebody and let's say you are the buyer, how would you try to buy the truck? Let's say you're in the market for a truck, okay? What would you do? Are you going to call me up and say, hey, my name is Aaron and I'm looking to buy your truck. Tell me more about the truck. You're not going to sound like you're going to be like, hey, my name's Aaron, interested in the truck. Are, are you looking to sell it? Can you tell me a little bit about the truck? Like you're going to act like a regular person and you're not going to be like, uh, 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 is this a four cylinder C4, six? No, no, you're not going to do because you're not the expert in trucks. I'm not the expert in trucks, right? But you're going to just call and ask basic questions. You're not going to pretend like you're the truck expert. You're not going to pretend like you know everything, but you're just going to ask him simple, like, just can you tell me about it? What's the condition of it? Why are you looking to sell it? Is it running okay? Like just basic question. And, and then at the end of it, you're going to look at the truck. You're going to meet the guy to see the truck. Say, okay, well, that, I mean, it looks a little ding there. Okay. Okay. Mm, it smells a little weird in here, but okay. Okay. So you're looking <laughs> to sell it for what? $20,000. I mean, I mean, can you like um, 17 for it? And like, you can do a little negotiation, like pretty simple. You're not acting like this crazy, cra like most people when you go to buy someone's truck, like you're not like, oh, I'm so nervous to meet this guy to buy his truck. Oh my, no. You're like, I'm just, if it works, it works. If it's not a truck, I'll just, I'll get another truck, right? It's not like the most nervous. And that's what it is. Now, if I replace the word truck with house, people go, oh my gosh, right? It's the same process. Hey, look, I'm interested in buying your house. Are you looking to sell your house? Can you tell me a little bit about the house? Okay. How long are you live in the house for? Okay. Does any repairs or anything need going on it? Okay. Let me stop. I mean, what's a good time for me to come by and look at the ha house? Like you replace car with house. That's it. Yeah. You make it simple. You don't act like you're the, the expert. Okay. You don't have, but like at least know something, which you should feel But like that is how you're good at acquisitions. You're not a salesperson. That, that, that's and, it. And here's how you do it. You have to be authentic because people can't stand fakeness. No. Like when you have someone that's fake to you, you're extremely standoffish because you know they're going after something. And number two, you just got to learn how to have conversations with people. When you have a regular conversation, people put their guard down and they will tell you what they want to accomplish. If it's, if it's a great fit, that's awesome. 
The problem is when you get too salesy, you're trying to force the transaction and selling a house is either a good fit or it's not. When a realtor lists a house, it's like, we're going for broke. A lot of it's greed, crazy numbers. And then they sort it out in the back end wholesaling. We sort the number right there at the table. And we got to get to the truth and we help people out. That's it, guys. Being yourself, comfortable in your own skin, being authentic and having conversations. This is my fundamentals of wholesaling and that's why it works because you don't have to pretend to be somebody else. Stop wearing a hat because your favorite guru wears it or wearing tennis shoes or a jacket. Do what makes you comfortable and go out and be yourself and people will see through it and they're like, I can't tell you how many times people go, listen, I, I don't know is I just like you, like you resonate with me and you're, you're like down the earth. Hey, that's it. When you're super salesy, you are going to spend an eternity trying to turn them. And remember, I'm only looking for people that need to sell their house or people that want you go do that sales game with realtors all day long. It's You will be out of the business if you try to do that. And that's one of the fundamental problems going on with wholesaling. We just need to be ourselves and learn how to have conversations. And some of you guys are so stuck on scripts. If you can't convert a script to a conversation, you have zero shot. No, we have scripts for you, but like they're very general because you have to be yourself. Now, don't act like you have to be Zach when talking to a seller. You're going to see me do a lot of live calls. Heck, uh, Tuesday, I did insane i closed the seller like it was an amazing deal but like don't act like you have to be like me i'm one of the rare individuals you guys will figure out on this youtube channel that can go live talk to sellers and close them in under an hour I'm the only guy right there's no one else on youtube that does this because i've spent thousands and thousands of hours cold calling i've when i tell you uncomfortable i have gotten so physically uncomfortable and mentally <laughs> emotionally through cold calling that I can close anyone. I've done so, like, it's nothing to me. But you'll see that, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I have to be, you don't have to be like me at all, okay? You don't have to be like him either. He's great at close. You don't want to be you me. Don't have to, you don't have to be like him. You have to be yourself. Remember, everybody else is taken, so be yourself. It's it's the honest truth. So that's how you do acquisitions, okay? We basically have it all covered in what to say uh, on a whole sign in freeholsing.com. And so we got you covered. Just gets to the point here. So dispositions, this is us selling it, right? This is the process of selling your contract for a profit. That is it. Okay. It's pretty much, I, in my opinion, it's the easiest one of the three for most people mm -hmm. because it's not as intensive. You're finding people who want to buy house, houses and connecting them with the contracts. Okay. And so basically this is what it is. Okay. We are selling our deals to rich landlords and house lovers. Our cash buyers for dispositions, people buying our piece of paper, they either want to flip the property for a pro profit quick, or they're going to buy it, fix it up, put it on the market, make profit in between that, which is perfect. We want our cash buyers to make money. They're our customers. If they're not making money or have a good experience, they're not going to come back like this, or they're going to buy it, maybe fix it up a little and then rent it out and make money. Here's the thing. We are like a restaurant and I know I'm, I'm the analogy king today, but it's like a restaurant. Mm -hmm. If you go to a pizza restaurant and you sell the pizza for 10 bucks, but you have the stupid, super cheap cardboard pizza tastes terrible. Yeah. I made money right there, but they're never coming back to my pizza shop and I'm never going to make money ever again because it was a terrible experience. But if you give them a good experience where they enjoy the food, you know, they make money and then you make some money and they keep re their repeat business. You make more money doing that, right? Yep. And because I don't have to constantly find other buyers. Same thing in wholesaling real estate. You want your cash buyer to make money. A lot of people try to squeeze the most out of the deal. And yeah, you make money, which is great. But guess what? The cash buyer doesn't make money and they don't want to buy from me anymore because you're the guy that loses the money. If they can make money, you make money. It's a win-win. They'll constantly be buying deals from you. Same thing with talking sales, all these things. You just got to find people that want to buy it. So when I talk to people that bought in houses for cash or they have money, are you looking to buy houses? Yes. Well, I sell contracts on property. I'm, I'm a wholesaler. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. That's it. We're not forcing people to. So in wholesaling, we don't force people to write a contract. You are going to write this contract for this price right now. You're not. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't work. Right. A lot of you guys are trying to force deals out here. Oh, this person wants to move into a bigger home and they want to sell it for 50,000 over what the thing's even worth. How do I make this deal happen? You're not. It just doesn't work, right? You're selling peanut butter to somebody that's definitely allergic to peanut butter. It ain't going to work, okay? <laughs> I don't care how much convincing you do. It ain't going to work. But if you go to somebody that's obsessed with peanut butter, you know, they're a big fan of it. That's it. That's how you do it. And so that's always the truth. So that's how our marketing works too. And so I'm using peanut butter again. If I want to find a motivated seller, how do I find them? Do I find people that own houses and just call every single one? It'd be a mess, right? I'm going to go to the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup fan base in my city and call them up and see if they want to buy my peanut butter. They're more likely to buy it than the average Joe off the street, right? Mm -hmm. That's the point. When we talk to motivated sellers, we're going to talk, talk to people who have situations and go contact them. That's what we're doing. Marketing for dispositions, we're just looking to make the money and get it done. And so I know when I say dispositions, cash buyer, all these things, I'm giving you a lot of hoopla 
I'm giving you a lot of words. It's very wordy. I get it, right? I'm saying mm -hmm. you a lot of words that probably don't make sense. We have what we call a real estate lingo dictionary. It's at freeholsing.com. And it's an entire dictionary. And it's a video of me explaining and talking to people of exactly how to get started in wholesaling real estate. I explain what wholesaling real estate is. I, I explain the whole entire process, right? I don't make it complicated. I make it actually pretty stinking simple. And it's all at freeholsing.com. And so if you go to freeholsing.com, I'll show you this here. And so like, just so everyone understands, we're going to go to freelancing.com. It's my free real estate wholesaling course. Our free, we have hundreds of thousands, we're almost, we're over a hundred thousand people in it. It's insane. But this is freelancing.com. It's all inside of Flip with the Rick right here. And you're going to have this. You're going to have welcome your wholesaling one-on-one marketing. So you go marketing here. This is the entire thing where we talk about marketing, right? Wholesaling one-on-one, you go here. You're going to go to the lingo dictionary right here where it just shows all this lingo. You're going to watch this video where I explain the lingo, what virtual, what double, like all the words, right? I just explain this, right? Boom, that's it, right? And so like in freelancing.com, we have everything covered inside of it, just so you know, right? We have systems. When I talk about dispositions, right? Like we got, disp like we have, we have scripts. We got, this is all free. It's why, this is why it's called freewholesaling.com. Okay, like a few people bidding. I process here, but just go to freelancing.com. I, I ain't going to reveal the sauce there, but Guys, it is a $7,000 course you guys get for free. It's called freelancing.com. Y'all seriously need to go to freelancing.com, just FYI. But that, that, that's what I think everyone should do, just FYI. But I'm telling you, it's insane the value you get from it. Nobody else has that. But it's So the words I'm saying, it might sound confusing, I know. But go through freelancing.com and after what, like spending about an hour, you'll understand the words I'm saying. And it makes it so much easier. So that's where little, little lingo. And so we're going to do a little lingo dictionary really quick for you. We're just going to, we're going to say some words and we're going to explain what they are. So word number one is motivated seller. Now you might hear that a lot. What's a, motiv a motivated seller? Is somebody who wants to sell their property for a reason and they're willing to sell it for a discount. Now we use the word seller. We use the word motivated seller. There's a lot of words around this, but motivated seller is just somebody that wants to sell the property due to a circumstance. Technically needs is what we're looking for. Theoretically needs, yeah. And so it's very important though. So that's motivated seller. We're using the word title company. Now on day four of the 30 wholesaling challenge, Rick sat down literally on a whiteboard and explained, or was a whiteboard? He ex uh, We explained all the graphics and stuff, what a title company is, how closing costs works, how to find the title company, what the right questions ask, all this amazing stuff. Yeah. And basically, what is a title company? Really quick, like a uh, uh, title company is a third party that's supposedly unbiased. That's not true because whoever chooses it has home field advantage. And their job is to facilitate the transaction, to underwrite the deal, to make sure they have two legitimate consenting parties to buy and sell. And their main business is actually title insurance. They sell insurance policies. And it just basically says, if you pay $300,000 for a property, in the event there's something that someone disputes the title, they actually have an insurance policy to cover you, to give you back your 300,000 in case they can't resolve the issue. And honestly, 99% of buyers want a title insurance policy. This is primarily where they make their money and that's it. And then they, they, they facilitate what they call a HUD one statement and they sort out what the buyer needs to bring to the table. They tell what the seller gets, any bills that have to be paid. And guys, that's it. Your job is primarily to go out and find motivated sellers. Your title company is kind of like your partner that helps you get the paperwork done. And honestly, when you're starting out, your title company is everything because they give you credibility actually where you don't have it. And you don't need to know everything. Honestly, I still, to this day, 21 years, ask my title company questions all the time. And so your main job is to go out marketing. Your title company is going to help you facilitate it. And it's extremely valuable when you first start out in wholesaling because it seems overwhelming. Yeah. And their job is to get you through the transaction. But well, we're going to, day four, we'll explain it all. Yeah. Okay. So next is EMD earnest money deposit. Most properties, most deals we have, we have to submit a deposit on the deal. It can be as little as $0 sometimes. It can be a hundred bucks, it can be a thousand. We'll break down what it all is on the contract section. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll tell you this, guys, there's ways around this and we're going to help you out with it. So don't worry. But EMD basically sounds for the deposit on a contract. You can get around it if you have no money. Now, if you have a hundred bucks, it's worth just spending a hundred bucks on it, but that's for a different day. Just letting you guys know. Cash buyer, we're kind of explaining it again. That's a person, that rich landlord or house slipper that wants to buy our house, uh, or sorry, our contract from us to buy it. That's it, okay? We have something called a POF. This is short for proof of funds. Sometimes the seller wants to make sure we have cash and we can give them a letter from our partner or cash buyer saying that me and my partner together have the proof to buy the house, right? That's like if me, uh, and St I can say me and Steph Curry have won an, and uh, have won an NBA championship combined. Yes, we have. 
Or I could say me and Steph Curry have won three NBA championships combined between the both of us. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's it, it's true, right? But like I'm telling you, so like you can do that too. Proof of funds, and also you need a proof of funds from your buyer to make sure they have the cash. You have a whole buyer section on there. Uh, next here's MAO. This is the max law ball offer. This is a calculation we can do to figure out how much the property is actually worth to a cash buyer. We have the whole formulas and everything. Don't worry about it. But basically, it's going to say, "Hey, I know this deal is worth 120 thousand. I can't offer more than that." We're going to basically have plug and play systems. LAO is the least allowable offer, the least we can, the least we should offer. And we'll tell you how to calculate that too. ARV. So this is stands for after repair value. Basically, what is the property worth on its best condition after you put the repairs on it? What it looks like on its best, best day. We'll share about how that works too. Comps. Comps are short for comparables. That is just basically what the property is worth. Uh, to find what the property is worth, we're going to find comparable properties. So this is pretty simple. If I want to figure out what something is worth. So for example, you gave me a signed Michael Jackson thriller album, but it's got like a special edition. I don't know how much the thing's worth on vinyl, mm -hmm. but if I see what they're selling on eBay for, I get a general price of what it's worth. Same thing with the house. So if someone's looking to sell their two bedroom, one bedroom, two bedroom, one bathroom house, it's a thousand square feet. Okay. In my area, what are two bedroom, one bath houses built in 1980s selling for? That's basically what it is. And we get a general idea. We'll, we'll show you how to do it, right? A summit of contract. That's basically the contract of us to sell it. So in wholesaling real estate, we have two contracts. I know I'm ramming through this really fast, but at freelancing.com and on day five, we actually show you how to download the contract for free and everything. Uh, the summit of contract. So we have a purchase and sale, which is basically us buying the house. It's a piece of paper for us agreeing to buy the house. And then we have the assignment, which is us selling the contract for our prop. So purchase and sale is us writing a contract to buy the deal. And then the assignment of contract is selling the deal. That is what the assignment of contract is. Next here is virtual wholesaling. We are actually kind of talking about this tomorrow. Um, I'm not revealing the whole thing, but uh, we're going to do a little bit of virtual wholesaling. This week, we'll talk about virtual wholesaling on the challenge. But this is wholesale. Remember when wholesaling we said you see the person at the house and you sign the contract? You can actually do this over your phone and on your computer if you live anywhere in the world. Guys, we have a lot of wholesalers that are virtually getting their first deal and making six figures in Nigeria, South Africa, um, the Middle East, Europe, Canada, Mexico, Asia. We got a lot of wholesalers in Korea for some reason, uh, but like they're doing deals all over the world. And so it's pretty crazy. And so virtual wholesaling is a real thing. We'll show you how to do it. It's amazing too. Even if you're in a bad market, New York city or whatever, you can still virtually wholesale, right? Next one, skip tracing. Skip tracing is basically a, it's a detective's term for finding somebody's whereabouts. And so if I see an ugly house driving around town and I want to contact that person and no one lives in the house, I can actually find their phone number on a website like truepeoplesearch.com and actually find their phone number. And I can call the person up seeing they're looking to sell their house. And we'll break that down too. Next year's cold calling. So that's us basically calling somebody, reaching out to see if they're looking to sell their house. That is it. We're basically reaching out to people, seeing if they want to sell their house. Yes or no. That is the point of cold calling. I love cold calling. I know you guys love to watch me cold call. Uh, that is basically it. Well, we have a whole day dedicated to cold calling in the third day wholesaling challenge. Next year's probates. What's a probate? Uh, probate's a simple process that is a court action. When somebody passes away, the only way to wrap up their final affairs because they own real property, bank accounts, cars, RVs, boats, well, you can't transact on a deed or a title if the person's not alive anymore. So you go through a court process called a probate, and that's simply where they wrap up the final affairs of the deceased person. They appoint the most responsible person that's usually spelled out in a will. If not, they go through a court process, and then that person gets approval from a judge. Contrary to popular belief, if a buyer and a seller of a probate deal have come to an agreement to price, the court does not get involved on how much it's sold for. I don't know why people believe in this. There are a few exceptions, but for the most part, some of your best deals on real estate go through probate because these properties are run down. A lot of times people are taking grandma and not care of the property, and that's the way you should do it. And then they don't want the burden of this property so if a wholesaler reaches out and contacts them through probate marketing techniques we teach, you can get a lot of times three to four times the average profit on a wholesale deal that you would normally get. And that's why pro probates are so prolific. There's, there's not a lot of them. It's extremely cheap to do. And you could do this with a full-time job. It's my favorite way to find the best wholesaling deals. And we want to teach you how to take advantage of it. It's actually very, very simple. And the key to probates is we teach you how to use your two ears and keep your mouth shut a lot more <laughs> um, because you got to listen. 
and you you've got to you got to help people out. And if you, you can't feel for people and be an empath, please don't do probates because they were tough situations. But I shied away from them for a long time and I decided I need to help some people out. And then even when Zach joined my business, we even find how to weigh like double and triple on how we contact these people. Guys, probates are huge in wholesaling and we'll teach you how to take advantage of them. Yeah. And guys, we make 60, 70, $80,000 deals on probates. It's I'm letting you know. We have people that get their first deal. They made fifty grand on a probate deal. It's insane. I had somebody at where he made seventy three thousand. Seventy three thousand month. First month probates. Yeah. I'm just letting you guys know probates they're, are legit. They're and real. I, I will help you guys out with it. Okay. And so probates are amazing. I love it. Trying for dollars. This is basically the method of us getting in our car, looking for ugly house. That is it. Right now, I'm, I have a term here called reverse drawing for dollars. We're the only person on YouTube to ever talk about this method because I ain't selling you on it. But basically, you find people that have ugly house. You slap a sticky note in the house. Say, hey, this is Zach. A quick question about your property. Please give me a call back. And all you do is you slap that on the sticky note and people call you back. And it's an inbound lead source and you get deals from it. And we'll, we'll, we have a whole day on it. So I'm just letting you guys know it's an amazing one too. Equity. So this is a weird one because a lot of people, what's equity? Equity is so confusing to me. Equity is basically a calculation of how much the property is worth and what is owed. And so if I have a property, it's worth $100,000. And let's say I owe $30,000 on a mortgage. People flip out. Wait, what if somebody has a mortgage on their house? What do I do, right? So if somebody owes $30,000 on their house from a mortgage, right? Duh, like most people have mortgages, right? Mm -hmm. If I agree to buy it for $100,000, that means at closing, the title company will take 30 grand out, pay it for them so they don't have to deal with it. They'll pay the bank for it. Mm -hmm. And then they'll give the seller their $70,000. That means basically the seller has 70% equity. So I'll calculate what is it worth, what's owed. That's 70,000. I divide that by the value of the house. That's equity. Now on top of that too, everyone might be like, wait, wait, how do we get paid? How does this process work? Well, let's say I write a contract for 100,000 to buy their property. And let's say they owed the 30,000. I find a cash buyer. Maybe I go to Zillow. I go to the four rents. I, I found a guy who actually is looking to list a property for rent on that same street. Say, hey, you're looking to buy any more rentals near you? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, of course. I got, I want it. Hey, I, I have this deal, right? You, oh, wait, all right, show me how much money you got, all, proof of funds, all these things. But then you basically go say, here's the house. Do you want to buy it? 110,000 looking to sell the contract. Yeah, that works. I, I love rentals near me. And so you write an assignment of contract. We're selling that contract to that guy for $110,000. And on that assignment of contract says we make 10 grand. 110 minus a, our contract is 10 grand. So at closing, so everyone, we can catch up here. At closing, cash buyer gives $110,000 to the title company. Title company will give us $10,000, a check for 10 grand. They will give $30,000 to the bank to pay off the loan. And that 70 grand goes to the seller. So the seller gets what they agreed to sell it for. We get our $10,000. Cash buyer's happy. Everyone's happy. Who pays for the title? The buyer pays for the title. Don't worry about that. Taxes, all these things. Title company takes care of it. You don't have to deal with it. And that's basically wholesaling real estate in a nutshell. Like I just, we get paid, we get our checks. It's legal. It's great. It's amazing. That is what equity is. And so what is your homework today? I'm homework. giving you homework. Pop quiz. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not stressful, right? But this is your homework for today. All right. Sign up at freehosting.com. It's free. Just put your email in. Boom. It'll bring you into freelancing.com, the thing I just showed you. And you just save the link to log into it. And then you don't have to log in anymore. It's just right there. Freelancing.com. That is it. Sign up to freelancing.com. All right. Join wholesaling houses for real. I want everyone to understand this sounds crazy, but I have a Facebook group that as of this video, we hit a hundred thousand people yeah, in wholesaling insane. houses. For so we have a Facebook group. It's called wholesaling houses for real, right? And in wholesaling houses for real, you can mastermind with other people for free. You can actually on Tuesdays and Thursdays on the Flip of the Rick YouTube channel and on Mondays and Sundays, I allow you guys, I post a link during my live streams. Okay, we're, we're, we'll break this down too. I post a link only in the Facebook group, only in the people, only the people that are willing to join that group and give value to other people. Now we're not doing it today because this was a long video. We're kicking off the challenge, but usually, so let's, I'll tell you next Tuesday, uh, next uh, Thursday, you have a link on the Facebook group to go in and talk to me or you personally one-on-one -on -one. what how much is it it's free yeah it's free now it's we have a lot of people and so it's hard to get to every single one but if you constantly go on it you'll talk to us at least once or twice a month i, I can almost guarantee it and then on top of that too i want you to understand this well actually we'll do a full breakdown after this we have other things we can do but like one-on-one -on -one, just go to the wholesaling houses for Ultra facebook group 
join it. We have over a hundred thousand people you hang out with. Hey, and you can figure out other people in Atlanta, stuff like that, in your market, wherever your market is. That is your homework. And then last but not least, I need you to subscribe to all of our YouTube channels. We currently have four YouTube channels. Flip with Rick is where the it's the big one. It's the biggest one. It's where the challenge is. It's, it's always going to be the biggest one. Subscribe to the Flip with Rick YouTube channel. On top of that, we have personal channels. We have a Zach in YouTube channel and a Rick, uh, Rick in YouTube channel. That is it. And subscribe to all. And we have a wholesaling houses for your YouTube channel. But that's just, we post clips of our masterminds yeah. and stuff like that. It's still great stuff, but that's what it is. Freelancing.com. I really appreciate it. Exactly. So guys, go to freelancing.com, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys soon. This is Zach Ginn signing out. Rick Ginn signing out. Have a blast one. See you guys.